Hi guys, welcome back. I have got a big unboxing from Not Just For Boys Kit Clubs for the March kits. Now, I have all kinds of goodies. I don't know if I have everything, but I have a whole lot to share with you. The very first thing to share is the Burnished Limitless Kit. And oh, wait till you guys see this. I think you're gonna love it. So let's move aside some of the goodies really quickly and get right into the papers. So the first thing to show you, I'm gonna see if there's any cardstock because I don't look through anything until we talk about it. So this collection, it is called Garage from Minte Papers. It just came out, 2023 collection, and it is full of these rich, I don't know, we've got denim and metal and all good things. So the first paper, it's paper number two, looks a little bit like a diamond plate tail gate and it's rusted and it looks like texture and it is happiness. The back side, it's a scene paper. So side A and side B. So the A papers with Minte tend to be scenes. Side B, it is a fabulous pattern, which necessitate you wanting both sides. So this collection has like these clocks and it has auto things and guitars and uh, license plates. We've got a piece of luggage here. It looks like a bike wheel. Pipes are going up. We've got Edison balls, all kinds of coolness. So that's our first one. The second one, this is paper number one. So it's like scuffy, scuffy paint in these navy tones. And it looks like it's peeling and rusted underneath. Very cool. And then the flip side, we've got a scene. Once again, like we just talked about, here's an old school telephone, bicycle, electric guitar. We've got some weights going on. Oh, we've got look, full, half, slow, standby, stop. License plates up here, Edison bulbs again. Super cool piece of paper. This one right here, this is paper number three. So what do we have? One, two, three. We have one, two, three. So we've got this piece right here. Here's the scene side. So once again, those same icons are on here, but if you look at them, they're just like the most delicious configurations. Nice painted wall here that's peeling and gorgeous. It looks like a concrete wall. And the flip side is a really nice deep denim, which is so cool. The next paper to show you, this is from 49 and Market Serenity. This is Subtlety. So we've got that great, so really nice weight, the great weight of 49 and Market. So nice for mixed media, by the who. Um, so we've got text and stamped images and little bits that look like they are sewn on there without having to get out your sewing machine. So super cool. And the flip side, ooh, so it's a bit of a house print with text and some of that stamping work. There's even splatters. So all good things and a gorgeous branding strip. The next piece of paper, it is from 49 Market Serenity and this is Brief Glimpse. So we see a tiny bit of a doily vibe. We've got the print. It looks like, you know, perhaps like an old school, like, I'm not going to say receipt. I don't know. Kind of like a index thing or I don't know. Old piece of paper. Very cool. And once again, we've got the paint marks and the splatters. And the flip side, it looks like wallpaper in an old schoolhouse. A little bit of book text, book text showing through and a really nice branding strip. And I like that side. The last piece of paper in this kit, I have to sneeze. Okay, it's paper number nine from Minte Garage. And this is, let's start with this. Look at the wood grain. Look at the wood grain. Super gorgeous, kind of blown up wood grain. You can see the knots in the wood and it's a bit of a warm tone. And then the flip side is the piece that, you know, you can use for like the cut aparts. So you can go ahead and detail, cut them all out. You'll get a nice little white edge if that's what you like to do, which is kind of what I do a lot with Minte, is I cut this out so that the white pops against the dark. Okay, or that's what I've done so far when I've played with it. So super gorgeous. I like the old parking meters. We've got electric guitars, pipes are going on, tools, really cool license plate work. It says 
hey dude it doesn't say it reads we've got some weights so anything to do with hanging out in a garage it's happening i wish i had pictures of some old school mo motorcycles in our past but i don't okay we have an alpha in this kit which is a fab edition it is from pink fresh spring vibes they're puffy alphas 208 pieces and they're in a really they're like a nice bendy kind of puffy and they're in a fabulous silver it's kind of like a um burnished silver it's not like sparkly it's just metallic so super cool small amount of numbers which is fine with me because i don't want all numbers i like my alphas okay we get a stencil and this is from this is a bad girl stencil for paper crafting scrapbooking mixed media and more really nice size on it it's got a sturdiness that i like so we've got exit exit way out one way these are you know like the gears kind of thing and then this looks like some fencing so can't wait to play with that then let's see we've got this really nice mix of silver metallic tools there's a little notch on it if you want to hang it from that string that comes with your kit you know that it's tied together this time our screen string was or twine it was a nice black so totally you can get that used see i see a couple kinds of saws. I see a wrench, a screwdriver, a cute little drill, an axe. We've got a little spade. So all kinds of things. All of the things and it's so cute. And then we have got from 49 a Market. There are 18 tags with strings and they're from the Serenity line for the Serenity tag set. So I'm going to get in here and show you what we have a little bit. There we go. Oh, guys, look at the packaging. Use the packaging with 49 Market. It's gorgeous. So all kinds of gorgeous tones. So this is more of a caramel. This has a bit of a light blue, more of that tan tone, a nice like dusty, like a dusty, um, why am I saying opal in my head? But it's a nice little orchid. We've got skinny little tags. Oh, look at the little butterfly, pretty. So all kinds of sizes, all kinds of shapes, super, super pretty goodness in the tags. These are gorgeous. Kind of want to make a layout with tons of them. So we have that. And then finally, guys, this is such a win. We have the Minte Garage Collection again, 27 paper elements. And what I'm going to do, so I'm going to grab this paper as it's like one of our planar papers, not plain, but planar and show you what we have because these are very very cool okay let me show you the back so these are envelopes which are super cool there are not score scores they're not scored you have to go ahead and do that yourself super fine easy to do there are tickets and circular bits and tags okay and the tags you have to punch out the little hole i have a little tiny bit of experience with these gorgeous goodies once again look at the packaging totally use it so we've got this large circly bit. There's a toolbox, luggage, all that kind of thing on it. Here's one of the tags, which is gorgeous. I wouldn't even need to punch a hole in that. The artwork is exquisite. We have this piece here. So, so gorgeous. I mean, I could do like 500 layouts with this kit. Ooh, look at the motorcycle. Looking vintage. We've got some denim going on more denim yet more denim a license plate add sand oh and may is my birth month how nice is that we have got this with the old school telephone telephone box is that what they used to call them i don't know we have that this is on a nice black denim black denim again with lots of license plates nice tag here with some tools and ripped black denim there's the ripped denim again with an electric guitar. The event that you have garage band picks, that would be so cool with this. We have got this clock, best mechanic. Love the artwork on that. Very large tag here with a little bit of plaid on the top. The plaid is also part of this collection, just not in a paper that we have right now. Hey dude. 
what happens in the garage stays in the garage. This is so cool. Look at the artwork on there. It looks like a 1940s era advertising piece. Very cool. We've got this piece here. Oh, it goes like that. So here are those envelopes and you just go ahead. There's really light. Uh, it, I don't know if you can see it. It shows you where to score on it. And then you just fold them up and they are gorgeous. Lots of really big pieces. You can tuck all of the things. Oh, you can see the, um, the bits right there where you're supposed to score pretty well. So that is what we have for the burnished limitless kit. So let me move this. And I want to show you next the, all right, so that's the burnish, yeah, the limitless kit. And then this is the essentials kit. So in the essentials kit, you get this piece here. It is the Minte Chippe Chippies in Steampunk. So I'm going ahead and making sure I have this correctly for you. All right, so this is the, okay, so you get the steampunk. So the deal with chippies are, you guys can paint them. You can use distress oxides. You can go ahead and use any kind of like regular paints. You can use sprays. They really take product well. They actually take um, embossing powders beautifully. You can leave them clean. They're a nice vanilla color. You just go ahead and use like a little exacto knife and get them notched out. And then the bits that are left over after you use all of these gorgeous goodies, go ahead and use them for creating dimension on your layouts. Like that's not a throwaway thing. They're so good for that. <sighs> I get excited. Okay, we have a buggy with a light bulb. Lots of gear pieces. Really cool frame piece here. If you look at it, we've got this big piece coming down here and then a frame is in the middle and that would be so cool for a shaker pocket. We've got lead, a ledge piece here, circular bits, super cool piece. Then what do we have next? Oh, we have a couple pieces that I want to go ahead and swatch for you. I have a little card out here for when I want to do some swatching. So I will do that and I, I think I'm going to do that and I'll come right back. Alrighty, so the first Mixed media goodie I want to show you. It's by Deco Art, matte metallics, and flat metallic paint, and the color is in pewter. So this is a two-ounce bottle, rather nice, sturdy amount. And I don't know if it's not dry yet, but this is a color right here. So I don't know if it's coming off properly. So it's definitely like a pewter tone, but you also get like a Union Soldier blue kind of vibe out of it. So super love that. That's going to be so fun to play with. I'm going to be painting some things up right here. The second mixed media goodie we have, sorry about the ripped packaging, but what are you going to do? It is from Pentouch. It's a one millimeter shiny metallic pen and it is in the color gold. And let me show you, it's a really nice fine nib. So that will be fun. That will be really good if you want to do like doodly work, detail work, or painting in small details. So very cool piece there. Used it just on the smooth white cardstock that our cardstock cuts are cut from. So you can take a look at those two pieces. So we have that. Then we do have two sheets of silver metallic photo corners. Very, very cool. They are in the Not Just For Boys Kit Club No Waste Packaging. So you've got a lot of wood grain on one side and graph paper on the other. Very cool. And then finally, this is super fun. We have got the Minte Garage 60 Paper Die Cuts Pack. These are already laser cut for you. Here are all of the pieces. And the reason I'm not gonna show them to you is because they are the same ones that are on, hold on, hold on, I'm looking for it. Where's my paper? They are the same pieces that are on this paper, but they are die cut for you. Now, I like to have both. The reason being on the paper, I like using them when I want a little bit of a white, white outline and I love to detail cut, fussy cut, whatever. It's very relaxing for me. And these are great when you just wanna get all those things slapped on. They're very intricately cut. 
I'll grab out just a couple of pieces to show you. They all cut to the like perfect nth, nth, ninth, nth degree. So super cleanly, sharply cut, which I am not capable of fussy cutting that sharply. I'm just not. So that is the Burnished Limitless Kit. Let me put the note on here, essentials. Essentials. Putting that on my little stickies I use. There we go. And then I have some a la carte goodies that I want to share with you. Just finishing my note there so that I know what's what when we are creating, but super fun essentials kit. Then last, but obviously not least, ooh, I have a couple mixed media pieces to swatch. Let me do that. And then I will show you all kinds of a la carte goodies for so this kit. The first a la carte goodie I have is a Nouveau Mica Mist. This is in the color Aspen Gold. Very nice, like not too yellow, not too like Vegas gold, just straight up gold. And oh, I've got a little tiny bit of blue in it, but it's right here. It's drying, but absolute gorgeous, perfect middle ground of gold. Let me put it in my little mixed media cachet I keep on my desk for the month. The next one that we have, it's a Nouveau Mica Mist again. It is... If you guys love navy, it is perfect. It's called Midnight Horizon. I have it drying right here. Love the depth of color you get, very nice. And then this piece right here, this is also by Nouveau. It is an aqua shimmer pen. It is in Midas Touch. You just pull it right out, color right on, and you've got like this beautiful golden shimmery bits that you can kind of detail paint onto anything. So that's what I have for mixed media goodies for the a la carte here. And then let's see what else, what to show you. Okay, we've got a sequin mix. It is stunning. It goes with the collection so incredibly well. It has gold, it has pewter, wood grain, black, all perfect, lovely sequiny bits. Then we have, let's see. I feel like there's so much to show you. I'm excited. All right, so these are beyond awesome. So let me take them out because I love them. I love them so much. I love that they are cut out of a, like a wood veneer, but they're painted. How incredibly perfect are these little bits? They've got this really nice smooth satin texture as well. So super awesome, super cool. Love those. Then, oh, guys, these come in both red and gold, I believe. Let me pull up. Yep, they're in red and gold, and it reads, Sawdust is Man Glitter, which is hilarious. So we obviously have a saw wheel. It's so great. It's not even called a saw wheel. Anyway, work with me. But very cool, very metallic. Love that. I think that's super fun. We have some cardstock cuts. I've got this one right here that reads fun times in a really fun font. This is best day ever. Let me see if I can shimmy it down a little bit with all these circly bits all stacked up. And then I have beautiful chaos. So loving this cursive font. I think those are fun. We have another Minte Chippies. This one is the set that's called Vehicles. Same exact thing. Go ahead and notch it out with just a little craft blade. Pop your piece out. We have got tools. We've got all kinds of vehicles. Um, steering wheels going on. Loving the pickup truck. My son was very much into construction vehicles when he was little. So like this can go like endlessly. So much fun. Cannot wait. I think I'm going to do a layout with this one or this one this month. So we have that. And then finally, guys, I cannot say enough about how I love the 6x8 paper pads from Mente. They're called add-on paper packs. It's for the garage collection. So the deal is, in here, you have papers that are different from the ones that are in the collection pack. So... You know, you think you're happy and satisfied with the one you see these, you're like, oh my gosh, these patterns are great. And there's also different artwork for the cut-aparts. So let's show you what we have. 
So let's go ahead and open it. Oh, and let me see anything else to tell you. They're double sided. They are, and there's 24 double sided designs. Okay. So we've got kind of a scuffy concrete wall. This looks like some kind of a metal slat wall kind of deal over here. Wood with metal, really nice flannel piece. This is just like navy blue with some rusty looking bits. Here, I can come in just a little bit. We have got, it looks like navy corduroy. Really nice wood grain. We have a flannel piece here. That looks like leather. I don't know if it's supposed to be, but it looks like a black and, you know, tone on tone leather. We've got metal here, all burnished. We've got navy chipped paint or, I don't know, dented paint, a nice plaid. This is a gorgeous, like, tone on tone, rusted painted metal, stereo speakers. So that's really cool artwork we didn't have before. This is like a bunch of mechanics boxes, you know, where they used to put little tiny tools, which would be great for sorting uh, die cuts. <laughs> And then right here, this is what I was talking about. Here's some artwork that we did not see in the other um, like die cut, cut apart sheet. We've got a speaker, lots of tools, some Edison bulbs. We've got some stars, like hubcap covers, super cute. Ooh, look at the camera, very cool. And then large mechanic boxes. I wanna make sure where we start. And then we start over again, pretty sure. Let me just, Go through and double check. Yep, then we start over again. So absolutely gorgeous artwork. I believe it repeats three times and that is stunning. So those are all the a la carte goodies that I have that go beautifully with our burnished limitless kit. Let me clean this up. up right so the next kit to show you, it is the virtual reality page kit. So with our page kits, it's so fun. We end up getting a video from Meredy and she creates a two page layout using the goodies in this kit. She's super talented. You get instructions on how to do it. You get the video, the whole thing. So to me, these page kits are like having a class within a page kit. I think it's super cool. All right, let's get into the papers. Let's see, oh, that's another embellishment goodie. Oh my gosh, boop, let me move that aside. So looks like we have a couple pieces of a smooth white cardstock. Then we have this piece here is from Reminis. It's called Green Grunge. So it's green and it's grungy. Very aptly named. Ooh, and then the back side, it's like a painted concrete wall that's all scuffy scuffy. Very, very cool. I see a lot of those Minte chippies pieces and whatnot that would go beautifully with this very cool um let's see what's next this one is called from reminisce again this one's navy grunge although it's more of a crayon blue to me but you do you and i like the tone on tone vibe you get Ooh, and the back side oh that's so cool so i'm picking up like you know it's it's like it's a pattern but it's like a um, woven pattern and it's kind of like a greenish pattern. Definitely picks up the green when it's next to that. Oh, those are cool. Our next piece, it's from Photoplay Gamer Collection Virtual Reality. So it's black with white ones and zeros for code, which is super cool. And then the back side, it is like virtual reality headsets on a crayon blue. I'm going to go like that because I'm digging that. And then this is from the same collection from Photoplay Gamer. This is circuit board. And it's very cool. I mean, it looks like a circuit board, but the colors are rather pleasing. So we've got a green background with all of those circuits being in, I don't know, like white with a little bit of yellow in it. And then we've got some blue, the true yellow, and tiny bits of red. And then the back side, oh cool, it is a cram blue color and it's got like all these circuits in black. Very cool. Now we've got a 12 by 12 sticker sheet that comes with it. They're called the Element Stickers. They're from Photoplay, same collection, Gamer. And we've got the words Addicted, Level Up, Gamer, 
game over, play all night. We've got the Wi-Fi symbol, lots of controllers, depending on what your system is. A nice gamer screen, all kinds of little words and ew, nice little border piece here. So very cool. And once again, the virtual reality headsets, which we do have one of those. My son has it at his house right now. Very, very cool. And then to go with this, we have this stamp set. It is from Chow Bella Paper Stamping Art 7 Stamps. There's a circular one, a square one, like little corners, directional bits. That's very cool. They're like photo corners kind of. And then a bunch of X's. So really good for like mixed media kind of vibe too. I think you can do a lot with it. It almost looks like, like an updated version of like that coffee stain. So very cool, like a scribbled out coffee stain. Love it. So we have that. Oh, and then finally to go with that, we've got these cute little cardstock cuts. You know, we've got the packaging and there's a lot of red in this kit, so you can totally bring that out. Actually, there's orange too. So you can bring that right out. You just cut these out and you've got nice little labels. Let's see. I feel like I should grab <laughs> one of these plain pieces to show you these a little bit better. All right, I'll do it on the green. So no waste packaging, we talked about that. So hopefully you can see these. So there's like these little cutouts, like a stop button, we've got an X. So, you know, the things that are on your uh, Xbox controller is what I'm seeing, the little symbols. So lots of fun little circle bits that, yeah, that would be on your controller. Super cool. All right, so that is the page kit. Let me scooch this aside and I will show you the virtual reality essentials kit. And I have one little thing to swatch, so eh, I, can, I can swatch it with you because it's, I already have it open. All right, so in the essentials kit, we have, let me move this aside. We have got, oh, these are so awesome, the Doodlebug Designs Alphabet Soup Puffy Stickers. So was it a couple months ago, we had them in brown, and now we've got them in the color called Ladybug. I don't know what the brown color is called. I'd have to look at it. So tons and tons of alphas, really nice font. Some numbers down here and punctuation. So that's cool. We have got this really fantastic stencil. This is from Chow Bella Paper Company again. Really nice, sturdy stencil. And guys, look at it. There's like gears and arrows and all of the scuffy goodness. And it says stencil for paper crafting, scrapbooking, mixed media, and more. We have that. Now these are adorable. Look at these little signs. We've got stop. We've got like this like little danger cautiony one. And then this one that looks like a motherboard or circuits or something. Super cool. And then look at all the little controllers. I have five of them. They're super cute. A nice little thickness. I think they're so fun. So we have that. And then we have a mixed media goodie. It is a Distress Oxide. It's in prized ribbon. Let's see if I can get it on my handy dandy little sheet here without making too much of a of a wide mess oh come on a little bit more see I'm trying to be careful and it's not coming out as well as I'd like all right so we have prized ribbon right there in a distress oxide and I love distress oxides so that is super super fun we but I mean use it in all of your kits it does not matter but that is the essentials kit loving it I think it is Fantastic. I'm putting this with my mixed media goodies for the month as well so that I have all my things right there to play with. All right, now let me grab, now that we did that, let me grab some of the a la carte goodies that go with this kit. So the first mixed media goodie I have in the a la carte section that can go with this kit, the virtual reality kit, is a Nuvo Crystal Drops. It's a metallic crystal drops in navy blue. And you can see it right here. It's nice and puffy and dimensional and so cool. We have that, love it. And then what do I have next? I have that, oh, I wanted to show you, oh, look at these sequins. 
Such a perfect match. Again, we've got that really, really nice royal blue, a little bit of a white and black wood grain. There's yellow, green, there's little. Let me, let me get this. Let me get a little pouring tray. Yikes. So hopefully we can see. Oh, come on. I was trying to show you. Oh, see the little clay stars in there? They're so cute. Some of the those um, green sequins are clear too. So super interesting. They want to be shaker pockets. Oh, and I've had a number of requests from some not just for boys subbies to kind of slow down and show my shaker pockets. And I will make sure to do that this month in my not just for boys kit club kits. So sequins mix, love that. We have got acrylic pieces. This is this hysterically cute little gamer controller piece. And it also comes in like a silvery pewter color. This one reads game on. I love the font, it's super fun. It also comes in green with blue or any combination of the three. There'll be a drop down box and you can see all of that. So we have that. And then these pieces here, this has rock with a star and then so much fun and the fun we get to have it and it's cut out right there so you can have it wherever on your layout. That's so cool. Um, let's see. Oh, we have a woodcut, wood veneer piece, game room open daily, no cheating, no fighting, no, no winning. Oh, no whining. There's always winning, no whining. So super cool. There is a mask on here so you can just take up whichever bit you want to ink in or paint in. Very fun. Let's see. Oh, let's look at these different. These are so cool. Let's look at the different cardstock cuts. We have one that reads games and a really nice font. This is a controller piece. So when I was saying before those little circle bits that are in the page kit, that's all of these different directional like icons that are on the controllers. And then there's this big, nice circular bit with a controller. How fun is that? This would be a really good piece for me to do an example of a shaker pocket for people. Maybe I'll do a separate video with that. I think that would be a good idea. Okay, try to remind me. All right, so then we have a Thickers. It is in Happy Day. They are puffy and they're like uber bendy. That's the kind I love. They are white with black lines on them. We've got some numbers down here and a little bit of punctuation. Super cool. And then finally, we have a set of gamer ephemera from photo play let's take a look oh if you don't like to watch the unboxing unboxings of it that's what they look like but i'm going to try to quickly show you all of the little bits i like the bit of orange that is in this collection i really do just one more level i promise with fishtail banner got game body by I'm not denying anything, but define too much gaming. We have got, this is at like the power kind of indicator. Play harder than yesterday. Oh, a cute little heart. Oh, how cute is that? And then these are the, the little sheets that you just go ahead and punch out. So fishtail banner pieces. This is just a nice little rectangle. We've got a laptop and a game on oval. Can't hear you, I'm gaming. We have a fishtail banner piece here, a little wheel controller, eat, sleep, game, repeat. Then this piece, a couple tabs, level up, game over, glitched, game over, fishtail banner. I'd rather be in VR. Then level up. I, I wonder if I have any pictures of our VR. Hmm, got to figure it out. We've got a headset, born to game. There's a VR bit again, game override, and a controller. So that is what I have for that. Then, oh, I have a couple more pieces that just happen to be in a la carte that I wanted to share with you. Just a couple more, and then we're good. So... We have got this and I cannot wait to play with it. I've wanted my hands on it forever. It's Art Glitter Glue. It dries clear. There's two ounces in here. So we've got this piece. 
but you can also order the metal tip. So these are in the a la carte section of the store. So there's a little metal tip and a little, um, a little pin as well to keep your stopper from getting clogged up. So I've heard great things about it. I cannot wait to get into that because I like to create um, things with cut files or cardstock cuts, however you want to phrase it. So super excited about that. And then we also have a jewel picker by Marvy. Oops, yes, I started to open it. So jewel picker, it is double-sided, picks up gems, rhinestone, beads, confetti, glitter, as well as we all know, sequins. So little sticky points here. I mean, they're not pokey. Little sticky bits on both sides. This one's much finer if you have little bits to pick up. So very excited about having tools like this in our arsenal. So, oh, and I have one more thing. So let's put that into my little bin. And then finally, I have a Distress Oxide from Ranger. It's the... the very new color that just came out called Lost Shadow. And I know people are like, is it just gray? Is it da 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 da? It's a nice medium mid-tone gray. It's not cool as things go. It's not warm. It's right in the middle. Really nice one to have in your mixed media lineup. So if you grab all of our mixed media goodies this month, this is what we have. And I'm loving the color palette. And I'll end up putting this right into my mixed media goodie bin. There's a few pieces drying, so I'm not tucking. So I can refer to it and know which piece to grab all month long. So down below, I will have links for the Not Just For Boys Kit Club website, for the Facebook group and the blog. And what else? Oh, and we have the challenge this month. So make sure to join us on the Facebook group, play along, all that kind of stuff. And I'll be back ever so soon with another video. Bye for now, friends.